Coming up the hill. Yo, sí. voy buscando la iglesia. La iglesia, bueno, le va bien. Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks, out and about again today with another walk around video, walk about video in another town here in the Madrid community, a place called Bal de Lecha, which is around 40 kilometers from the center of Spain's capital, Madrid. And we're going to check out life in this small town today, see what people are doing in a small town on a Friday. So uh, let's turn the camera around and uh, explore. So currently walking down the, the main street, this is the main road that comes into this town. Not a big town, only around two and a half thousand people, I believe. And again, I would say that quite a few people work in the capital city, They've probably been here all of their lives. Parents lived here, maybe grandparents as well. And working in the capital, which is where all the jobs are and the people that work here, either working in shops like that one that we have over there, supermarket or a, a dental clinic, or they're working in the fields because this is a part of Madrid that has very fertile lands. Lots of produce grown in these lands. It's in the uh, Las Vegas area, Alcarria also, I think. So it's uh, in between those two areas. And as I said, produce around here, pretty decent quality. I believe, and we'll see a, a fruit shop just over there to my left, Fruteria. Now I imagine that they're selling some of the local produce in that fruit shop. I imagine that is the case. Now, tractor coming out here, so you can get an idea of the rural nature of this town. The tractor's noisy. And we can see this uh, cooperative here. Cooperativa Vinicola San Isidro. So what they're doing there is they are making, and you could also have a tasting there of young wines. And I reckon, given how faded the writing is on that sign, that it's been there for a long time, and we can see the, the vats up there as well, where they are producing that wine. And sorry if the sun is uh, in the way there. And we can see Bente Directa de Vino. So, they're selling wine to the public and they're also selling olive oil as well. I'm not in the market for any of those two products today, so I won't be buying wine or oil. Let's keep going. Now, coming down to the main business area, I would say. We've got an insurance agency here. Must be a school around here, Thona Escola School. We've got a chemist and we've got a bank. And I think if I go down here, I'm going to come to what is known as the Calle Mayor. And I'll swing up the Calle Mayor, the main street, which is uphill. And then I'll head to the main square of the town and check out some of the older buildings in this town as well woman there doing the, the cleaning, really looking after the building. Now, one of the reasons the populations in these towns never really seem to grow is because they're not well connected to the capital city. So they've got bus routes, which you can see here, the 313 bus, but there's no trains. And bus or car is the only way to get here. We're not all that far, 40 kilometers away from the center, 40, 45, but the roads coming in here are also, I would say dangerous, narrow, a lot of heavy traffic, trucks, so not good. Now over there we've got Asador Restaurante La Ochava. We'll probably have a, a menu, which will get an idea of what the prices are like here when we find a menu. So I think this is the, the Calle Mayor. Let me have a look around. Not sure, we'll go up here. Check out what's going on here now. What can we see? Courtyard over there. The buildings here, the, the flats look to be, I don't know, 20, maybe 30 years old. Not that old. One thing I did notice when I was coming in was how hard it is to park here. Not a lot of parking, and we can see here that all of these 
parking bays here on the side of the street are full. So lots of cars, not a lot of room to park. Another winery, which is closed I imagine, Bodega Brea Bente de Vinos. Let's keep going. We'll keep walking up here, we'll start getting into the old part of the town. Let's go up here, see what's up here. Locals having a conversation. Now we've got a fruit shop up here. Let's have a look. And the tobacco shop. Let's have a look at some of the produce. Let's have a look what we've got. Onions, pumpkin, calabacin, zucchini as we call it in Australia, peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, and fruit. Don't think the fruit would come from here. And this place is also a tobacco shop. So it's a tobacco shop and a convenience store. Selling the local produce. Conversation between a couple of ladies here. Now, the Calle Mayor, as we can see there, the main street, and again, old buildings. These ones obviously going back, I don't know how old. We've got a newer construction there, so obviously the original house would have looked like this, knocked it down and put up something more modern. And I always think about the people that have to come here and rebuild or do renovation works, which is what we've got going on over here. But as we know here in Spain, when it comes to building flats and apartments, they're fairly skilled. Okay, let's walk up the hill. What else? Brickwork, not a bad looking building that one. Again. All right, we've got some Información Municipal. Some local information. We'll see what's going on. So what do we got? Library, you learn English, languages, indoor cycling, gymnastics, paddle, pilates and yoga. Health center over there. And there's this town sign, Bal de Lecha. So I imagine that the town hall is closed. Let's see if I can find it. The town hall. Maybe that's it. Don't know. Let's have a look at the type of businesses that we've got over here. Pilates. A Chinese shop here to my right. Very narrow streets. One way is the Calle Mayor. Now I think the origins of this village go back to the 12th century, or at least I think that's what I read on the internet. So, going back a fair way, there's an old building up there, we'll work our way around. Let's see if we can go this way and work our way around. I think we're coming up to the, the main square. The ubiquitous curtains in the doorway, over there as well, to keep the flies out or as somebody said, to keep the flies in. Bar Alegria, happy bar. Tapas. And we can get an idea for what's surrounding this town. We can see there hills, green hills, covered with uh, pine trees. Butcher shop there, carniceria, charcuteria. So charcuterie and meat sold there. And here is the Ayuntamiento. Got a local sitting up here, taking in the day. One of the hours. No me contesta. He didn't reply. I said, good morning. I got nothing back from him. So what do we got going on here? We've got a building that's been acquired by the council, the building next door, so they're expanding. The Casa Consistorial, as we can see here, different flags up. We've got the European Union flag, I think. We've got the Madrid flag, the Spain flag, and I think also the local flag. Local police over there. And I think there's a church here as well, which I'll try to find now also. Let's go up here and have a look. What have we got going over here? Is that a Harley Davidson? Check out the motorcycle here. Calle Prado, 
is it a what type of bike is this uh, Suzuki so it's not a Harley forgive me any Harley Davidson fans another view down there of the valley this place is on the side of a hill we can see the other hill over there and down in the valley is where the bull ring is so I think bullfighting in this town is quite popular so let's walk up here Calle Sevilla so the streets are getting narrow let's have a look up here Calle Sevilla person doing exercise here running up the hill yo Sí. buscando la iglesia. La iglesia, pues no. No va bien. ¿No? No. La iglesia... Pues estoy dando una vuelta, lo, lo quiero encontrar, pero vamos. Vale, la iglesia está llegando a la plaza. Sí. Por aquella calle ah, de Ah, de acuerdo. ¿Puedo llegar por, por ahí? la ermita. A la ermita. Está la iglesia y la ermita. Ah, vale, pues muy bien a eso entonces. Vale. Gracias. Venga, Ok, so, I just got told that there's a hermitage up here. The church is not in this direction. So I'm going to have to turn around, go back and find the church. Let's get my keys out of my pocket because they're making noise. Look at those houses up there on the hill. Wow, living up there. Imagine getting those built. Would not have been easy, I don't think. There's the uh, hermitage up there. So if I can make it up there, let's go and check it out. The hermitage. Now, one thing you will notice in these villages is that the uh, streets are very narrow. Obviously, they were built back in the day before cars. And uh, in this part of the town, you can't park your car on the street, basically. You have to park it in one of these garages here. So if you do live up in one of these top parts of the town, uh, you're not going to be able to park in the street, I don't think, at least here. I always park down below to avoid that problem, if I'm honest. I prefer to walk up rather than bring the car up here and have uh, parking issues. But there are some cars parked up here, so we'll check those out now. Now I could probably go up there. That is a steep hill, so I'm gonna look for a different way. I'll ask this bloke if I have to go up there. Well, la ermita es por aquí o por ahí? Por los dos sitios, pero por aquí mejor. Mejor por aquí, no? Sí. Menos inclinado. Claro. Muy bien, gracias. Okay. So I've been told to go up this way because it's not as steep. You can see here that the, the infrastructure starts to break down. No footpaths. And uh, some of the buildings probably seen better days. For example, that wall there has seen better days. So there is the hermitage. Let's get up the top. Also because I think the views are going to be fantastic. Let's keep on going. Not easy walking up this steep hill. Okay, almost at the top, at the Hermitage. One of the few things to see in this town. Let's have a look here. Let me catch my breath. So here we go. Ermita de la Virgen de la Oliva. And going back to the 18th century, no English here, I don't think. Let me have a look on the other side. No, not in English. So, apparently the Virgin appeared here. It's a popular tradition or a popular tale. So as we can see here, built in the 18th century, La Ermita de la Virgen de la Oliva is, without doubt, one of the most emblematic buildings in this town. And not only because of the architecture, but also because uh, inside it holds an image of Nuestra Señora de la Oliva, who's the patron saint of the town Baldelecha. So uh, Nuestra Señora de la Oliva, so the uh, Virgin Olive, I think that would be. Let's have a look at the building. I'll see if I can get a little bit of the detail in the architecture here. There's a guy over there with a dog. Let's walk around and check it out. The walked his dog up here but yeah an interesting building going back as we saw there to the 18th century and uh, the tower up there this guy was probably smoking a joint getting out of the way let's have a look around 
Hola. Yeah, having a joint. What else we got up here? Let's have a look. Olive trees? Are there any olives on the branches or have they been stripped? Looks to me that they've been stripped of all the olives. Actually, no, there's one olive up there. I can't seem to get to it, but all of the low hanging olives have been stripped by whoever comes up here uh, to uh, take the olives for whatever purpose, whether it's for oil. I think you need a lot more. Ah, oh, here we go. Got some lower hanging ones here that I can reach. Let's have a look. So we've got these ones here that look quite ripe and the black ones here as well. So different colored olives on the tree, but you'll see these olive trees everywhere around here because as we saw, it's an olive producing area, olive oil producing area, this one here. So that's the hermitage. Uh, Nuestra Señora de la Oliva, who's the patron saint of this town. Maybe the olive trees grow in there in her honor, not sure. But apparently the Virgin appeared here, which is one of those stories that the Catholic religion has. And it's up to the individual to believe it or not. What else? Got a cat over here, so we've got a cat colony, no doubt. On the side of the building. It's a pretty impressive hermitage, I will say. Some type of pond here, which no water. I don't know why that would be, and there's no water in the pond. Maybe they fill it up on special occasions. I don't know. I have no idea. But an interesting building. Let's continue the journey. There goes that cat. So, we'll go and find the church. I think I'm going to go down the hill again, because that's what I was told to do, that the church was down near the town hall. So we'll go and check out that. Now, let's walk down the hill. A lot easier to walk down than it is to get up. So let's go. What else have we got down here? So here it's quite well kept. The pavement here, the road is you know, some type of pavement. Every time the car goes over them, they make a fair bit of noise. You can get an idea of how high up I am here. And the typical houses of people living up here. And I imagine get passed down from generation to generation because I don't think there's a big real estate market in a place like that. That's where I was going to come up before. So yeah, fairly steep steps, but a great view of the valley. Right, next mission is the church. Got some newer houses, older houses, a real mix. The architecture, it's not in sync. You get some buildings that are one color, other buildings are white. Some buildings are old, some buildings are run down, some buildings are new. There seems to be no rules when it comes to building. You can put up whatever you want, as we can see here. So we've got relatively new homes, old home in front of us, and the architectural style, yeah, it's similar, but when it comes to color, no. Anyway, I suppose every village here in Spain has that characteristic, except the ones in the south, which are all white, and they do stand out, those villages, but there's no, obviously no urban requirement to keep the architecture in sync. Or at least I don't think so. All right, let's keep on walking and get to our mission, which is the church. Let's go down there. I think it would be down here. Yeah, there's the town hall building. So I'm in the right direction. The good thing about these small towns is that it's difficult to get lost. It's not like going to a city where there's roads and cars and people everywhere and the, the street's pretty chaotic. Here, you go up and you come down. So in that sense, quite simple. And when I get to the bottom, if I can't find the church, I'll ask somebody. There we go. Calle Virgen de la Oliva. 1944 was the year that this building was built. So it's going back to post 
Civil War days, five years after the Civil War. Picture of the Virgin up there, the Virgen de la Oliva. Now when it comes to the Virgins, I'm going to say I'm not an expert. I have no idea who the saints and virgins of the Catholic faith are, except the, the popular ones, of course. The San Diego's, you know, San Miguel. But when it comes to the olive virgin, never heard of her before. So there's the town hall behind me. Bar over here, Churria, I think. And I think that I was told to turn right here by that woman that I spoke to before. There's my old mate still sitting over there. The guy that snubbed me before. Olga del Pensionista, the pensioner's home. Also operating a bar and here's the church. So I wasn't far away. Here we go. The Calle San Martin. That's another saint that I've heard of before. So let's have a look at the church. Mm-hmm. Yep, again, a lot of stonework has gone into this building. Let's see if we can find some information of when it was built. There's a statue of Jesus, I think, with the Spanish flag above. So I'm getting the idea that people here were religious. Not sure if they still are, but back in the day, yes. There's the main door. And there's no information about the church at all. So, some churches you'll come to and there's a sign up which tells you about the history. Not the case here. There we go. So we've got the name, Parroquia San Martín Obispo. And we can see that it belongs to the Alcalá de Henares diocese. And there's a charity there as well, Caritas because the Catholic Church here in Spain also does a lot of charity work. Let's have a look and down again. All right, so those are the two main things to see in this town, the church and the hermitage. And I don't think there's much else. I think the church might be open here. The, the gate seems to be open. So we'll go for a walk inside, see what's going on. Turn the camera around, you can see this garden here but still no sign about the history of the church. That could be where the priest lives there. I don't know. Let's keep on going. The gentleman over here has obviously suffered a fall. Poor bloke. One of the others. At least I've got a reply from that geezer. Lady up here with a nice house. Very proud of the house, I think. Some nice flowers and some birds outside. One of the hands. Not the most enthusiastic hello from that lady. In fact, people here don't seem to be very friendly at all. And there's our guy that was sucking on a joint up at the Hermitage, I think. Calle Camelias. And there's the end of the town there. So not much else to see. So that's this town more or less done and dusted. Not a lot to see, as you guys will no doubt uh, have picked up on throughout the video, the uh, hermitage and the church, but apart from that, not a lot going on. I tried to start conversations with people, but uh, not really interested. Probably wondering what this foreigner is doing in the village. Another thing about this town is that the flight path goes right overhead. There we go. So the neighbors here, I would say, would have to put up with that uh, flight noise overhead on a frequent basis. Now one thing more to see in this town and it's the bull ring. I'm gonna head down there now. I'm gonna have to get in the car to go to the bull ring because it's not in the town per se, it's on the outskirts. So uh, we'll head there now, so uh, let's go. Okay, now I've come down to the bottom of the town and this is the uh, bull ring behind me and uh, up this street here, which we'll have a look at as well. We can see that they obviously have some type of running with the bulls festival here because that's what all of these barricades are on the side of the street. We'll go up there in a minute and have a look. But let's go and check out the bull ring. That's the town behind me over there. Let's check out the bull ring here. So when you come to a town like this, 
I don't know if you can get an idea of what's going on inside there, but this is where the, the locals come to enjoy the Bull Festival. Now let's have a look at the town where I was before. We can see that uh, hermitage up there on the top. Can't really see the church, it doesn't stand out, but that's a, an idea of the village. And as I said, this is what I was speaking about before. These uh, barricades, the bulls must come running down this street here and people are standing on both sides of the street and uh, the bulls come running down here and I imagine that they go in through one of these doors here, not sure which one. Uh, which is the typical entierro, as they call them here in Spain, or uh, running with the bulls. Now, on that note, I'm going to wrap the video up. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. I hope you enjoyed the walk around this small town in the Madrid community, Bal de Lecha. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.